let's explore the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. The first part that's important is to recognize that people can be both intrinsically and extrinsically motivated at the same time about the same thing. That there's this overlap space that yes, you might want something from an internal place, but you might also want it from an external place, and that's fine as well. So according to self-determination theory, we can hold both. And intrinsic motivation is a specific form of, of motivation, and it has these four factors. One is your motivation as to why you're doing something is self-concordant with yourself. It's in alignment with yourself and who you are in the world. Then there's a genuine desire, a real want to do the activity that you are engaging in. You value the activity. It is important to you. You want to do it for its own sake. And you're interested in the topic as well. So I might be intrinsically motivated to pick up a book and learn about a topic. If it's a topic that is something I really want, something I value, and I like to read, I may also be extrinsically motivated to do something. And when I'm extrinsically motivated to do something, the desire, the motive to do it is either set by other people, or I do it because I have to do it, or I think it's gonna get me something like accumulation of possessions or money or fame or admiration. So when we talk about motivation, we're thinking of why is the person doing this? What is their why? What is their motive? What are they striving for? And we know that intrinsically motivated activities, they're enjoyed more. They're pursued with greater vigor. And when people accomplish those goals, they tend to savor them even more because they were intrinsic rather than extrinsic. Extrinsic goals on the other side, on the other hand, are goals that we tend to lose steam with over time. That while they might seem as though they bring us a, a sense of motivation, over time they don't bring us lasting happiness even when we do achieve them. And according to Latham, intrinsic goals sometimes are our overarching visions or goals akin to mission statements. And this is why it's so important that when we set a goal, for us to ask ourselves, what is my vision? What is, my, what is the thing that I'm wanting to create in the world? And how does this goal that I'm working on align with my vision, align with what I value, align with what's important to me? So up next, we're gonna take a look at the differences between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation and think of it as an accordion that we're gonna open up and take a look at the many nuances in motivation that can come between it. But the first key here is to understand that intrinsic motivation comes from an internal place. Extrinsic motivation is motivation that comes from an external place.